welcome to tutorial edition in this video i'm going to show you how the angular routing works so my project name here i've given here admin front okay and then uh, it will ask you yes or no when you uh, start the project so press yes why so that it will create routing file okay so the project is installed now now let's start it in ng sub ng sub okay so now it successfully start now refresh it and you can see now it's working okay so we will be starting with very basic uh, routing then step by step we will be proceeding to blog creation and then let's open no file now open the folder for project so it's in d drive then in the class and this is our project in visual studio code now click on src and inside this inside app you can see uh, app routing module dot ts so we will open this but before that we, we will create some a uh, few of our components then we will start uh, importing the routes from here and we are going to download bootstrap from here so i've just downloaded so this is our bootstrap 5 then here double click and then let's copy this css in js and let's go to our project folder so this is our project folder and you go to src and inside src assets you can see this folder assets so just copy here and just copy from there and replace or paste from here so we have just pasted here uh, bootstrap js as well as bootstrap cs now let's go to here and then let's import include so we write here link rel link rel style sheet a href link rel a sorry href equals to assets css then bootstrap min dot css we will include uh, step min min yeah this one okay so if requirement be then we can also import js here so script src equals to uh, set slash js then uh, this file okay so these two files we have included so that we can include this in our uh, application now let's delete this and let's try if bootstrap is working or not to check so just write here button then test we write here and then plus btn btn success now let's try here yes so our bootstrap class is working here now let's do one thing let's create uh, three components let's create here few uh, components so once again we need to go here and press ctrl c and then ng g c home so the first component will be home component and then ng g c uh, categories NGGC GC categories then NGGC category uh, category list category list then articles articles and then article detail article detail 
so Vigor the component for the timing we have created and let's create two more components called header and footer so NDGC header NGGC footer all right so that's it for the timing now let's go here and uh, inside our app routing dot module so now it's not needed now go to app routing dot module app routing this one okay and here we need to input our routing so we will write here then home component okay actually we need to write here path so so what does it mean that this is important when we open this this is blank right that means there is no any route so this is blank so when we will hit this url then which component should load that's important okay so this is how this routing works so we are telling here specifying here here okay so we are specifying here that there is no any route that means blank in that case what will happen home component will load okay so now if we hit press here yes and one more thing we oh our server has broken so first we need to start the server so ng serve and then we will check here by press enter and you can see in the meantime app routing module this one is automatically created and imported here and inside here in imports app routing module is also called right so when we press yes while installing then this task is automatically performed by angular itself so we don't have to worry about that so now it successfully ran compile here so so which uh, okay and one more thing what we need to do let's go to our app component.html and just delete this and we will write here router router or pink sorry outer router outlet Out, router outlet outlet here okay so what will happen in this place whenever we hit the url then you can see it's it is showing home works right so what happens uh, here in a routing all the components will load but ultimately where it will load so since this is the bootstrapping component that means the home main component that is why all the component will load here only okay in app component so now if you want to check so we have created several other components like now one more thing we will uh, yes in home component let's go uh, home component and then here inside this html we will call here not head home component first let's go to header component okay here in header component let's delete this and we will create a menu of which step okay so let's go here and right here bootstrap nav we can see several navigations here of bootstrap so let's click on this so now let's go and take any one of these let me take my favorite one this okay just copy this and then let's paste here in header component now this header component we will call here in home component okay so app header and same here app footer 
f putter but why we are calling from where so how i can say this is f header and putter if you go its ts file then you can see this selector actually is called there right so if you go to footer then the selector is the selector you can see app footer so same thing we are calling there okay so now in home component we have called header app header and app uh, footer and uh, now let's do one thing let's write here div so div and div class container okay now h1 tag this is home page now you can see this is our navigation and this is home page okay now we will put here link in the top so this is footer we have not written anything that's why it's showing here footer now let's put links so the first link will be category okay and before that <coughs> let's go to uh, route component route, route, where is that router where is router router yeah this one now let's map here one more component okay so say here will be uh, categories categories then component which one category component that we had created okay automatically you can see it got called here same way and one more thing you have to put here comma and let's put one more articles articles then here articles component so we have called here three components right now let's go to header section and here uh, this one is for home page right so here we will write router link we will write here router link equals to here slash that means home okay for this one is home and same way let's create for categories so name it as categories in here remove this href and paste here and name it as category categories category so now if you click on the categories then you can see we are going here categories base right if we go back and click here on okay so we have just put here category and now here we will put here articles articles okay articles so name it as articles articles now refresh it and you can see clicking categories go to categories clicking articles it goes to articles now you understand here how this works so when we click on these categories then it finds this url and this is actually the url which is mapping to here okay this one uh, where is this so this url is this url is actually this one okay so when we click then this url comes here now how it knows that this url should load when we will click this one then how it knows that this url should load yes this is written here in app routing dot module dot ts so let's open this file then you will understand here you can see this is actually me this url all right so this is the url and the component which is loading here is this component in actual this one okay so when you hit this url that means when you user clicks this one 
then first it comes here and then finds which corresponding component is this then this one loads okay similarly when user clicks on the articles then it will go to articles and after that it will check which one is its corresponding articles then it will find this is article detail and then this component will load so this is how the whole component process works in Hulu. now yes there is one problem here because header is missing so what we will have to do here let's go to this file and in uh, article in categories as well as in articles we need to copy this header uh, same way as home component so just copy it and paste here so header footer is included this is category page category page okay so now if you refresh here click category this is home category home category okay url also is changing there so this way and you can see this is very important that only this this section reloads if you go to inspect element here and then if you check here and category and this one so only this section is loading here you can see the rest of the things are still same so that is why it loads fast so this is step number one of the routing so you can add here as many as routing you like so in routing the only magic that is important here is inside the routes first a square bracket and then curly braces and then key value similarly here key value and then key value so this is how the basic of routing works in Angular. so that's it in this video and in the next video i will show you how child route works in angular so stay connected and you watch uh, another video the further video also where i'm going to discuss about child routes in angular so thanks for watching bye bye